rise and shine. Good morning. has been a long time coming. I've been trying to film like a vlog thing for months. I've got footage from every single month of this year and it's now May and I haven't made the video. So we're trying again. I just wanted to hang out. I also got like all of this footage from like when I got Ben. So I, I got a puppy. Four months old now and I've had him for two months and I filmed all this footage from when I first got him. Little did I know that it was in slow mo or it had no audio. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So yeah, having a puppy kind of ruled over my life for a hot second, it meant that I wasn't actually living my best life. Well, I was, but not like my regular life. Anyway, come hang out with me. Today's content day. I'm gonna have my coffee and then Ben and I are gonna go for a little walk. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> say hi to everyone. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're- Climb that fence now. Oh, how am I meant to have some privacy? I'm actually so grateful that Ben can go for walks now. He's only just had all of his vaccinations. So this is like the first week where we've been out of the house and it's just so good to like get him exercise so he can leave me alone. I don't know if you know this about puppies, but they're adorable, but they require so much attention and I've really not done much work <laughs> since he's been really young. So going for a walk has been like a really good opportunity to tire him out so that I can actually do my job. Okay, we're back from our walk. I was gonna go to the gym myself, but I've missed the class because I got caught up reading the comments on one of my videos. <sighs> don't read the comments, don't read the comments, don't read the comments. Can I have a quick rant? You know what? I'm not, it, well, it's not worth it. Just don't, I got. <laughs> my tasks for the day is to make two skits. Is that it? No, let me check my to-do list. Two videos, edit those two and two others. So edit four videos, go to the gym. Let's just aim for that and we'll see what the day brings. I also have to clean my apartment. All right, let's have some breaking. I know you're thinking this is a bougie fucking breakfast, and it is. And I probably treat myself to a breakfast like this, uh, like once a month. But yesterday I was craving a bagel, and there's a local bagel shop nearby to me that was charging $25 for one bagel. And I was really upset by the price of that. So I went to the shops and I got all of the ingredients to make the bagel that I wanted. It cost me $25 to get the ingredients for four bagels. And yes, I used cottage cheese instead of cream cheese, but that's just because I'm trying to cut down on the calories at the moment. I'm not trying to like drastically lose weight, but I've just been eating a lot of McDonald's. You're not an influencer unless you have a Stanley Cup. So I've just finished a couple of hours of admin. I don't have anything to tell you about it because it was really fucking boring. I'm gonna have a shower. All right, let's film some skits. So this is the premise of the skit. Two friends are ordering a coffee. One of them just orders a latte. The other one orders like a really intense coffee with all of the different things like decaf, half strength, extra hot, extra foam. And then the other friend who ordered the latte is like, how does she keep track of that? And she's like, oh, we just write down the code, like the little letters on the lid of the coffee. And it's meant to spell wanker. Ha ha, it's funny joke.
Yes, I'd like a half strength decaf cappuccino. Can I get that half on almond, half on oat? I'd also like it extra hot and extra foamy. Can you add two sugars, one sweetener, and I'd like cinnamon instead of chocolate? Thank you. What? Well, how is she meant to keep track of your order? Oh no, we have a little code with letters so that we can understand her order. Yeah, see? Ha <laughs> ha, it's a funny joke. All right, I'm in my boy get up. I have to do three photos, one with like four people, one five, and one like a big party. And that's how long it takes. Not that long, that was half an hour of filming. But now I'm going to maybe do some trends, like some trending audios, and I'll come back to you soon. If this is a pretty great job. If I can just be like an internet clown. Later that day. You almost just fell in the toilet. <laughs> Okay, that didn't get it all off, but you'll have to do. I swear to God, the most annoying thing about living in this building that our cars are on stackers. And if you're running late like I am now, it's very frustrating because I have to raise my stacker. the most boring dinner ever chicken and broccoli literally just chicken and broccoli i ran out of like the really nice dinner that i had i thought that was gonna last me longer and it hadn't i've only got chicken and broccoli i don't want to go to the shops i have the food i'm gonna cook it and eat it um, I'm a freaking genius. I wish I showed you what I just did there, but I made something out of nothing. I added chili paste and garlic and butter to the pan with the chicken. So it's like a chili and garlic chicken. We all thought that was going to be really boring, didn't we? Now we haven't tried it yet. The broccoli is very overcooked, but I don't care. Time to taste test the chicken and broccoli. Flavors come through at the end. It's okay. Let's try the chicken. Mmm. Chicken is a win. Chicken's really good. So yeah, I have to edit, post on Instagram, and then um, then I'm probably gonna watch a movie with Ben and then go to bed. And I wish I could say that I do more with my life, but I don't. So I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. 